All right, we're back, everybody. We just got 12.3.6. Let's go ahead and take it on the road. What's up, everybody? We are back. Just got the new update. We're on version 12.3.6. So just as I was hoping, I had got 12.3.5 the other day. Two days with 12.3.5, I was able to make two videos. Pretty interesting, actually. Now, 12.3.6, I can already feel improvement. Now, we do have a couple destinations on the route. Currently, we are on the V11 stack on the freeway. Let's see what settings I got it in. We have it on assertive. We're not doing chill anymore. Chill is out. We're going to leave the minimal cha lane changes off. We do have the beta auto set speed turned on. Let's check our route. So on route, we got Farmer Boys, then Porta Subs, and then we're going to go to a special place, the Gilcrease Nature Sanctuary. It's a little bird sanctuary. I passed by it earlier, and I'm like, I got to check that out. So that will be our route for today. 1.7 miles to our destination. We'll exit the freeway, and then we'll be taking city streets from there. About this time is when I would change lanes to merge into the turning lane. There we go. FSD. Heard me. One thing I'm really excited for is if they implement the AI into the Tesla where you can use Grok and then just use the scroll, scroll wheel to ask Grok questions, I think that'll be amazing. And in the future, we could just tell Grok to take us to a destination and, and then we go. Now we're not gonna be exiting this ramp Looks like FSD tried to go twice. You can get into the right lane and then stay straight. Changing lanes to follow route. So that's the third time it put on the blinker and didn't. Fourth, fifth, five times it's tried. Sixth time. And the sixth time is the charm. Overall though, I mean, I've only been driving for a few minutes, but I already feel like it's better. But let's not speak too soon. We have our Centennial exit. This is kind of a new exit as well. Newer exit. I'm not sure if this exit was here when the nav data was last updated. 2023, yeah, I'm not too sure. Choosing right fork. Nice transition. Pretty heavy braking. I did see a comment the other day whenever they see the little lines kind of going back towards the car, and the answer is yes to that question. It is using regen or friction brakes to slow down. So whenever you see that modulation, it is FSD changing its uh, speed rate. Taking a left for the light here. Good merge into the lane, no hesitation. Got the green light, protected left. Add slight turning force to the steering wheel, okay. Nice smooth turn. I feel like it was a little slower than normal, but more confident. You can feel the confidence. Great throttle control with that car turning. Auto set speed's doing well, four over, very smooth. Now it looks like we're going to be going through the light, pulling into the back way to Farmer Boys or the front way, just depending on how you see it. No more using chill for me. I, those two days testing the videos on chill were absolutely rough. Got the green light. Good acceleration. Car was coming in a little bit hot. FSD slowed down a little bit. We got the bus lane here. Let's not go into the bus lane. Actually, this is the bus lane, but it doubles as a turning lane. Plus one for FSD there. Human driver zero. All right, we're pulling in. You know what I want to do while we're here real quick? I want to do a quick auto park test. Oh, don't go in there. All right, let's do an auto park test, and then we'll go ahead and reroute. So I'm really curious if 12.3.6 has gotten better. Let's park right over here. How about this? 
All right, full stop. Parking's available. On the brake, start. Very quick, like usual, to initiate. Let's see if we can get into that spot in one shot. Auto park in progress. Press brake to pause. I will not be pressing the brake to pause. All right, let's try to get in there one shot, FSD. No traffic. We're clear on all sides. Still a little slow and hesitant. I can probably pull off this maneuver in like four seconds. But it got in one shot. Very good. All right, let's go ahead and go back into drive. Oh, it still has the reverse on there. Let's go park. And then we'll go back into drive. Now we're on route to uh, Porto Subs. Two, three, four. I don't know. It doesn't always work on that first click. Let me know if you've had any problems when you're going from a parking to drive to FSD. I feel like in the past I could nail it with like two or three shots, but now it takes like three to five. Now we're going to pull out of the parking lot. Don't go right. So we're going to be taking a right merging into the far lane and then taking a left to the light. Another pretty assertive maneuver, I would say, especially when once you start getting some traffic in this area. We do need to creep a little more for visibility. Okay, I can see now we're all clear after this Toyota. And we're going. We should merge into the far left lane. We do have the protected arrow. Let's go. Let's go. No throttle inputs. We don't want to miss that light. Let's go, FSD. Got the yellow. And I'm going to goose it. Off the, off the throttle, only goosed it for about a ha uh, second there, just to get it to go. So going slow is definitely a dangerous behavior. No matter where you're at, you'll miss lights, you'll make traffic impede on you. People don't recognize slowness like that. I mean, in general, to be a good driver, you have to be, to be a seasoned driver, you got to be aggressive, you got to be assertive. Got the green light. So far, so good. I really don't care about the slowness or the speed right now, because I know once they can just dial that up really quick. It's all about the performance staying true to the lanes but speed has a big play in performance that's for sure green light is good I feel like they dialed back auto set speed beta as well I kind of like the way it is right now better than the last few uh, videos I do want to mention that someone asked me how I liked the nag on 12.3.5 and I wasn't for sure exactly what that question meant, but I was trying to think about it. I felt like it was nagging less, but even, and I was thinking about it. So on, on today's drive and now on 12.3.6, I feel like when you're paying attention, it only really asks you for the nag. If you're kind of in like a construction or a detail or a hard turn, or maybe a lot of cars around, a lot of traffic. And we'll test it here. As soon as I get the nag, we're going to see how long it takes. Or let's just do it now. I'm, I'm paying attention. I'm not touching the steering wheel. And there's our first nag. So let's count. Just going to get an idea of how long it takes from now. So I'll keep maintaining eyesight on the road. Definitely not going to pick up my phone because that'll nag it quick. Pretty smooth through these S turns here on Montecito. So far, no nag. And usually, going around these turns, you would have a nag. I just feel like so autopilot is, or FSD is definitely watching you from the cabin camera, keeping an eye on your, on your eyes. Okay, so we got our first uh, nag. I'm not sure if it was time based or just because we're coming up to a stop sign area, but the nag is not that bad. I always rest my left hand on the wheel too, just to be sure, especially in areas where I'm not confident in FSD. All right, auto set speed is doing 28 and 35. That's very cautious. 
so far what I can tell the lane centering and it following the path is doing really good on this update. I did see some comments on X from other users using 12.3x6 and they're pretty impressed too. Now after we get to Porto subs we are going to stop in, grab a quick sub, and then after that we're going to go to the nature park, bird sanctuary. I'm super stoked. Hopefully it's still open by the time we get there. And hopefully we can get there with no intervention. Version 12.3.6. This is 2024. Dot three dot twenty five. Love these versions. All right, so twelve dot three dot four would make a mistake. Twelve dot three dot five would make a mistake, and twelve dot three dot six did it right here in this area. I want to say eight out of ten times it would pull right into that middle lane instead of being in the correct lane. Now version eleven used to be able to pull this off. A little robotic, but it could do it. All right, we got the protected left. A little slow. Good trajectory though. Probably the best. Well, huh, as I say that, I was gonna say probably the best at going for the middle lane. And then as it does it, it went over. Cadillac behind us didn't like that too much. Really, so human traffic behind you really doesn't know what's going on when you're going over the lanes and doing these small s corrections. All right, we're clear to the right. I'm gonna go ahead and wait. All right, perfect. It went. I was about to goose it for traffic behind. And we are heading to Porto Subs. And I think while we're here, let's see how we do in this parking lot with pedestrians. And we'll test out one more auto park. What's your favorite sandwich at Porto Subs? All right, here's our first pedestrian. Cadillac behind me didn't like that too much. All right, let's creep up. Now we have the stop sign. No one exiting this mess here. All right, we're stopped again. Cadillac behind us, got road rage. Uh, we're kind of inching close to this curb. curb. We are staying away from the traffic, so I understand why. It says uh, autopilot navigation complete, press accelerator. I'll do that. There's my accelerator press, didn't turn on. So this tends to be the new behavior in parking lots. It's very cautious, very slow, watching out for everything, but it does well. I don't mind this behavior. All right, let's go ahead and find a parking spot. And test out auto park. I think I found one. Nope, they left their lights on in that BMW. All right, we're going to park right here to the left. Let's go ahead and get to a full stop. Come on, FSD, we can do it in one shot. All right, full stop, park, go. And we are parking. Let's see. I think we're clear on all sides. Let's go, FSD, one shot. Inside lane, right next to the curb. It looks like it's going to nail in one shot. So... Just on based on what I've seen today on 3.6, it is better, the auto park. It just needs to be like, like human, like quick. All right, we'll be right back. All right, we're back. We've got our Porto subs. We're in drive. Let's try it. One shot FSD. Nope. All right, second try is a charm. Now we're navigating out of this parking lot. Let's double check our settings real quick. Assertive, minimal lane changes off, auto, set speed, on, and let's go. This is 12.3.6. All right, our route does not navigate us to the left, but we are navigating the correct way. It should reroute here. There it goes. As always, if it says auto max, that means uh, beta set speed is on. All right, I don't think we have a stop here. Neither does that car in front of us, but we're going. So on, on this route, it was only stopping on the sides and front and rear flow traffic. Full needs to stop, let's creep up. I think we're clear after this Mustang on our left. All right, we're clear now. Definitely for the inside two lanes. FSD's hesitating for no reason, and we're going. Merging over into the middle lane quickly. Now it looks like 1.8 miles, six minutes on this route to the Gilcrease Nature Park. All right, we got the green light. Ooh, what is that next to us? That is complete opposite of electric vehicle right there. I think someone stole their catalytic converter. 
I do want to double check this route, make sure we're going to the right. I think this is, this, I'm pretty sure that's the nature sanctuary. Oh, so, so we are going on the right route. I just wanted to make sure because they have the Gilcrease Nature Sanctuary and then down the road right here, they have the Gilcrease Nature Park where they do like all the pumpkin patches and fresh vegetables. All right. Got the green light. 1.5 miles, four minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I really do appreciate it. Keep leaving me your feedback and I, I always love your feedback if you're on beta as well. So definitely let me know below. And as always, if you want to subscribe to the channel, that's your choice. But definitely smash that like button for the algorithm. So far, my thoughts on 12.3.6 for this first drive, just first maybe 15 minutes of driving, I think it's really good. feels like it's firmer. It feels like it's more in control of the speed and the throttle. Definitely tracking amazing for the lanes. I don't think a human driver can drive this straight in the lane. No ping ponging at all. Almost absolutely non-existent anymore. Ooh, a little wide through that turn or through that intersection. Definitely behaves amazing around other vehicles now. No hesitation, no flinching. 0.8 of a mile. I think we're in the wrong lane. This lane is a turning lane, so FSC needs to make a evasive maneuver quickly to get out of here, and it is. Left change. I'm still wondering why it does the, the incorrect lane changes. Is it a nav data problem? Is it vision problem? Oh, now we're going back to the right again. I'm going to let it do it just for science here. And it, now, what was it trying to cut the line? Let's see if we can do a quick reroute on the fly since we have got ourselves into a pickle here. Now, we do not want to go straight no matter what. We will have to disengage. I don't think it's going to give it get us to the right. Let me go and give us some throttle to push it through a little bit here and to see what happens. We may have to disengage. Do we have any other routes? No other routes. And disengage. We were going straight. I think that is a nav data issue. The weird thing is though, Vision should have been able to clearly see that um, we couldn't go straight there. Now we are rerouted. We're still going to the bird park. Interesting. Ooh, what was that? We got an alert, but I didn't see anything on the screen. Let me know if you saw anything. Interesting alert there. Completely lost my train of thought, as well as any passengers in your vehicle. When you get those type of alerts, they're, they're starting to think, what's going on? I can tell they're trying to get it to modulate better, slowing down to the stop signs. I'm not exactly sure what they're doing because it's based on training data, right? So what do you do? Find slower drivers or faster drivers? Got the green protected left. These left and right turns have got great though. All right, we kind of went wide there, a little over the line. And you know, typical driving, it's okay to go over the line in certain situations, but not in that one. There's many situations where you don't need to, to cross over the inside line. And then there's areas where it's natural. All right, what are we doing here? We kind of went over a little high spot in the road, so it took a second to see those. Now to the right here, you have kind of like the protected lands, very beautiful for hiking. And let's see what we got. We got the bird park to our left. All right, we got a creeper visibility. I see one more car to the right. We're clear to the left. We should be able to go right now. And FSU's hesitating, still creeping. We're clear on both sides. All right, very good. acceleration and back here in this road people do tend to go faster back here and you can you can notice that right off the bat with off speed set all right it says autopilot navigation complete let's see I'm gonna go ahead and cancel FSD and let's take a quick peek at the sanctuary and welcome to Las Vegas so much to see here so much to do here you got Utah you got 
Arizona close by. I mean, you really have it all here. This is the Gilcrease Nature Sanctuary, open 9 to 2.30 p.m. And that's going to wrap it up, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you like the videos. And we'll see you on the next one.